Hey there, this is Clay, and today I want to talk about something that um, a lot of people don't really seem to get, and that's that, uh, you know, Facebook stalking your ex is not part of active no contact. I don't know what kind of no contact rule you have been reading about, but certainly the no contact rule that Mika and I advocate uh, does not involve stalking your ex on Facebook. It does not involve hanging on their every word. It does not involve like leering at every picture of them that they post from last weekend. It does not involve reading between the lines about what they say when they're like, I'm so happy today. They're like, oh my God, does it mean they met someone? Does it mean they thought about me? Does it mean like, I don't know what I mean. Like, that is not what active no contact is about. That's not what the no contact rule is about. Uh, you know, when you're in this sort of position, uh, when you're doing this, when you're like looking through Facebook, when you're like creeping up on your ex's Facebook and like, uh, you know, glaring at them and, and lusting after them and leering at them and judging them and trying to like put the pieces of their life together, that is not any form of no contact. Uh, and and uh, what you're really doing is you're living in reaction to them. You're, they're out there living their life and you're over here reacting to it. You're over here sort of living this meta life, this sub life, this, this uh, life that, that sort of is based on this other life. And that is not the kind of, of, of life that you should want to live. That's not the kind of life that I want you to live. Uh, I want you to live a life that's, that's really rich and full and rewarding in and of itself, regardless of what your ex is putting up on Facebook, regardless of their status updates, regardless of any of that. Um, and what I really want to encourage you to do is to, is to really embrace um, real active no contact by not including uh, stalking your ex on Facebook as part of that. Um, you know, seriously, just, just cut the cord. Uh, you know, sometimes people will, will think that they should just delete their ex on Facebook, and I don't really necessarily agree with this because um, if your intention is to get back together with them, it can seem a little bit uh, hostile, and then you have this whole weird thing where it's like, oh, hey, I'm going to send you a friend request again. Um, and that's not really very cool. Uh, what the easiest way to do is just go into your settings and make it so the, you don't see any updates from them in your newsfeed. That's really the easiest way to do it. You can still, you know, be friends or whatever, um, but you know, you can just still not experience uh, them in your newsfeed so that you don't really uh, uh, have to see their updates and what's going on with them and what's new with them and stuff like that. So I hope that helps you out, and I hope that. Uh, really helps you understand kind of where Facebook fits into this whole thing. Uh, basically, I don't want you to be using Facebook as a way of spying on your ex. And, um, you know, cur currently you can just go to the settings and make it so you don't see their updates in your feed. Um, you know, I don't know what kind of features Facebook will have in like 10 years or something like that. So, um, you know, if you're watching this way off in the future, um, I don't know, there's probably still some way to do that. Uh, but I hope this helps you out. I hope this gives you a little bit of perspective about the difference between uh, reacting to your ex, especially on Facebook and social media, versus um, you know really embracing what we talk about with active no contact, which is living your own life for yourself. And uh, if you'd like to learn more about how to do that and how to get back together with a person that you love, please head on over to relationshipinnergame.com and sign up there so we can start helping you today. Thanks.